Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acuma channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the ACI Dugbill 3120N95 respirator. We purchased these from Project N95 and they do come in a pack of 50 for $29.99. These respirators are also made in the USA with global materials. So here is how they look. The nose wire is outside of the respirator, which I've said many a times. It's not my favorite because they're just so easy to come off. Yeah, see that? This is how they look from the inside. It is a very thin respirator as well. Here are the headband straps. It's just one big one, but it has a line right here where you can split it. And the material is very similar to a Band-Aid material. So let's go ahead and try these on my face really quick, just so you guys can get a quick reference on how they will fit a petite face. I'm going to use another one because this one, the nose wire just started to come off. The nose wire of this is going to come off really fast. I just tried pulling it a little bit to adjust it to my face and I can hear it getting unglued. So these did take a little longer to <laughs> place them on my face than others. I am getting some leakage right here on the corner of the mask. Definitely not a fan of the nose wire situation going on here. But with that being said, this is how they will fit a petite face. So let's go ahead and run these through our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample had a filtration percentage of 99.83% with a pressure drop of 11.6 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.46 and a pressure drop of 13.5 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 98.64% and a pressure drop of 10.9 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw from the TSI test results, they had a great filtration results coming in at 99.83%. The breathability was higher than we typically like to see, but it's still within the N95 requirements. One thing I do want to point out from my personal experience while putting them on is that I don't think you're, you're going to be able to get several uses out of these respirators because like I mentioned, the nose wire easily comes off from these respirators. So I struggled a lot to put it on and adjust it to my face without it starting to come off as you guys see right here and right here this is the one that, that i tried on and this is the one that i was showing you guys earlier so that's one thing that i did want to point out but regardless of that they do have a great price point and the tsi results weren't bad so i really hope that you guys found this video helpful please let me know what mask we should test next or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator please make sure to look at the description box down below we're going to be having our address along with our website which is acumen.com and our master testing data sheet please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video